Devon, what's poppin? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Thanks for having I'm me. I'm great. Of course. Thank you so much for uh, being here. How's everything going with you? Everything's good. Everything's good. Staying busy, you know. Especially during this, you know, it's so funny because I thought the dumpster fire of a year 2020 was going to end when 2020 ends, but I feel like it's starting to trickle into 2021. How's your new year been so far? Um, it's been good. Everything good so far. Um, yeah, I thought the same thing. I thought it was going to be over, but you know, we'll see when things are back to normal. Probably by the summer or something. I hope so. I got my fingers crossed. Yeah, same. What's one thing that's happened to you in 2021 that you were just like, all right, this year is not so bad? Um, uh, a lot of things, but the most recent, uh, maybe like, um, Logan told me to put on like my subway compilations onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I never really did YouTube, but I, I posted them like three weeks ago and I went from like 10,000 subscribers to like 220 K in like two weeks. So I'm, I'm hyped about that building up my YouTube. So does that does that get you like I know it gets you hype, but do you get blown away to 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 know that there are people out there that are craving for what you are putting out? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's like kind of magical. Like I've been doing art as a living, making a living doing it for like eight years, and I never made any video content, so you know, nothing ever went like viral for me because I didn't even know about it. But during like in the beginning of the pandemic um i got on tiktok you know as everyone else and i started like it's because of tiktok that i started to learn how to make videos and start editing you know so um just one little thing like changed my whole entire like life and everything you know i, I gained um a million subs um followers on instagram in like a few months and wow and, and, and like 10 million on tiktok so it's just insane I notice it's something that doesn't happen overnight, especially with your art and things like that. When did you start cultivating being an artist? Um, I've been an artist like my whole entire life, ever since I could remember, but I really started taking it serious when I was like 14 years old. And then I got into this high school of art and it was, it's called the high school of art and design. And um, I, I learned a lot from like all my teachers and stuff. And you just used that and, and kept growing it, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, I just I just kept it going, kept growing it. Um, yeah, I I always loved it. Be, before that, before I was doing like realism, I was doing graffiti, and um, um, I, I grew up in the Bronx, so I was like doing graffiti in the Bronx, and I got arrested when I was thirteen. So after that, I kind of shifted towards um doing portraits because I was like, I don't want to, like I want to succeed. I don't want to be in jail, you know. So, and the NYPD got you. Yeah, yeah, they got me. <laughs> you were tagging up what side of what building? Um, like probably all sides. <laughs> all sides were, were you up in the Bronx or would you go down to Manhattan or Brooklyn, Queens? Where would you go and tag? Uh, mostly the Bronx. Cause I was like, I was very young. I was like 13. I was like too young to really be traveling like that. You're 13. All your, your parents just come and get you. And then, you know, you'd be sent on your merry way. I don't think anything happens at 13, right? Yeah, no, they just kept me in the precinct for like three hours and just scared me about jail and stuff and pretended as if I wasn't going to come out. Right. Right. But in reality, it's like my mama come and get me like relax. Yeah, yeah exactly. I grew up on the other side of the George Washington bridge. So in Jersey. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Did you get into any trouble? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No. <laughs> Cause my father was a cop. So he would always like, oh, nice. when, okay. he would, when he would come around, he would always like scare me into like, you don't want, like it was, it was ridiculous. He's ridiculous anyway. So um, TikTok, you got onto TikTok. Did you think that it would get this big? Um, no, like not at all. I was actually, um, I, I, so I always did subway paintings and I wanted to get like capture the pandemic in those paintings. And, um, um, but I was, my paintings take so long. Like they would take me like a month to do. And I wanted to like try out the concept like really fast. I was doing other things on TikTok, like my portrait paintings and stuff. And they would only get like a thousand or 2000 views, which which that's like kind of low for TikTok. So, um, so I was like, you know what, let me try like a subway sketch that is, is gonna take, I'm not gonna take a month doing it. So I tried it and first video I did was like 7 million views. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that. Cause this is something that I've been doing. You know, I've been drawing people on the subway for like a long time since like 2011. Um, so it's something that, you know, I wasn't, um, you know, I'm happy to go viral, but it's, it's not like, um, 
I you was, expected it. I was doing it before that. You know, it's not just, it's not for clout. It's like my passion. So to have my passion, you know, be mixed with something that goes viral, it's just like the perfect storm for me. You know, and you were just like on the train doodling people, and it just like blew up like that. I think that's so amazing. Yeah, it's it just I never um because I would do it in in like doing it in real life. It, it like nobody sees you, but when you put it into a video and. Also, I thought it was something that worked on TikTok and all right, it's just a TikTok thing, but putting it on YouTube and it blowing up that much, like I have a compilation video that almost is about to be at 10 million views. Like it's just content that people want to see and I just never like knew that and I'm just happy to see it happen. Can I tell you one um, picture painting drawing that I saw that just blew me away? Um, the one with Benny Blanco. Oh, oh, oh thank you. The one that he's on the bike. bike. Yeah, that was like a collaboration with him. Thank you. I was like, what? <laughs> First of all, how did you guys link up? How do we make this happen? Um, so I did a, a collaboration with Bella Porch. Um, I, did you see that one? I'm not, I'm not sure if you saw mm -mm. that one. Uh -uh. So I did a collaboration with her. And then um, her team, I was in LA with them. And then her team was just like, yo, um, you want to do a collab with Benny Blanco? Like, he loves your stuff. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, let's do it. And um. I, we he took me they took me to his house and stuff we were hanging out and then um he had that cool bike and we we're like oh let's do one we're like you're just sitting on the bike and i was like sitting in his tesla so i was like looking at him from the car and yeah but that was fire that you got to work with him yeah yeah i was i was yeah they they want me to do um so me and bella followed each other and stuff and then you know we would talk and i was like yo we should do a collab and she was like yeah of course so um I was in LA around the time and I was like, oh, let's do it. And I, I'm friends with like her managers and stuff. And um, mm -hmm. they want me to come back and do like more, more um, collabs. Like with, they, they have like a bunch of like TikTok friends and stuff. So I, I'm going to be doing more. Are you still home in New York right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to wait till these numbers come down before yeah, you- Yeah, no, I'm not going no time soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not going no time soon. I'm staying in New York. I, I hear LA is terrible right now. So definitely It's not. crazy out in these streets right now. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. So what else are you working on for 2021? Um, I have a few ideas. I want to do like some some paintings on the subway because I'm really like an oil painter. Um, drawing is kind of like my side thing. So um, I'm, I'm a, I want to like take this portable easel on the subway and do some paintings and like make more YouTube content and stuff and um, just keep it going. 10 million TikTok followers. Did you ever expect that? No, not at all. <laughs> I just when I got into TikTok just because I was bored and I just thought like dancing videos went viral. I didn't know that, you know, I could do that with art. So you up on TikTok dancing, doing the No, I mean I, I know what they look like. <laughs> I just don't know how to do them. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate you jumping on. It was a great conversation. Next time you come to LA and if these numbers are down, I would I would love to like get up with you and uh continue the chat and um much success. Your, your pages yeah, are dope. Love to do it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.